Tonight we're hitting with the 2016 Too Legit Worth Fast Pitch Bat. Um, you may notice something pretty obvious, which is these are not softballs. We thought it'd be fun to try and see what it happens when you hit it with baseballs, a soft pitch, fast pitch bat. We've been asked that a few times out on the site, and we just, we're, we're not exactly sure, but here's the answer. It flies. Uh, it's a 1.20 BPF standard on, on fast pitch bats, whereas baseball bats, at least Little League versions, only have a 1.15 version, so looks like it's flying off there hot, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, and we also don't have any fast pitch players around the night to make this video, so we thought it'd just be fun to come out and jack some. Uh, keep spinning that bat true so we work it in, right? Uh, the 2016 Worth Too Legit Bat, is it's actually a four-piece bat. There's two barrels. There's an inner barrel and an outer barrel. Then there's that transition piece, which is actually covered in that black piece right in the middle. And then, of course, the handle. Um, it's all composite, but the two barrels, there's an outer barrel that's thinner, um, again, this is all me just gathering from, from reading Worst website and talking to the engineers uh, at Rollins, or at least some of the people that work there. Um, the thinner outer barrel actually allows more trampoline effect for smaller players, whereas the inner barrel works more like a, more like a governor. Um, so, in other words, smaller players or, or slower swingers can actually still get pretty legitimate uh, pop out of the bat and closer to that 1.20 BPF. It is composite, and in theory, you always have to work composite in. Um, but it's so thin that a lot of people say that uh, um, a lot of people say that it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, that because it, it's so thin, it's already worked in. I don't know. I mean, you, you'll you'll get different feedback from different players. I think Worth would probably try to say that it's hot out of the wrapper. I think anybody who's swung composite before feels like you got to hit it 150, 200 times uh, to make it work. But but either way, it's a fun. Uh, it's a fun bat to hit. The 2015 version had a lot of durability issues, which we'll write about more in the blog. But the uh, Worth claims to have fixed those. Uh, I probably still wouldn't buy a 2016 bat, especially at 300 bucks. I wouldn't buy it without a receipt and a warranty. Probably not a great second-hand bat, especially the 2015 version. But by way of performance and pop and, you know, sort of the effort that Worth goes into making it perform at the peak standards, you got to believe this thing works. A handful of college teams use this bat. It's, it's simply just a solid, it, it's, it's a well, it's a high performing bat. Uh, durability being its big question mark. But again, if, you, if you've bought it with a receipt, there's probably no hesitation. Um, it is only drop nine and drop 10. So it's probably bigger hitters, like a 30 through 34 inch, I think, or maybe 28, you'll see on the site when we write it up. Um, but the drop 10, maybe 30 inch, so a 30, 20. This one here is a 32, 22. But the 30, 20 would be the lightest bat you can swing. Um, which, you know, isn't bad, but there's probably a lot of, you know, 10, 11, 12-year-old fast pitch players who need something less than that. Hey, you can hit to the opposite field, Truman. That was exciting. Uh, the, uh, anyway, that's the bat. It sounds great. Sounds great. Got a good pop to it. Good bat. Definitely high-performing, high-performing baseball, or excuse me, fast pitch bat. Uh, you can just feel it when you hit it compared to some other bats we've had out here, you know, like the, uh, the LXT, uh, the Zeno, um, you know, even Axe's fast pitch bat. All those are, all those you can just feel it when you hit it. 